rapid fire, and today's game is... Leicester was released on the Commodore 64 in January 2023 and is the first big game of the year for the old breadbox. Put together by Knaf Grinder, who did design, code, graphics and sound, which is very impressive. What's even more crazy though is that this is his first C64 game, which is an amazing feat. Leicester itself is an action platform Metroidvania style game with tons of action, platforming, collecting and a huge space station to explore. The story goes the main computer AR of a space station orbiting Mars goes rogue and is now steering the station which is filled with radioactive material right for Earth. You're an android on board and the only one that's able to stop it. The game takes its inspiration from a modern 2017 MSX game called Ghost or Mini Ghost and you can definitely see the similar stylings although this is not a conversion of that game. Overall it feels like an NES game when played just with way better music of course. As you search the station you can pick up key cards that give you access to new areas. You can upgrade your weapon at a computer terminal and access the station's map to figure out where to go next. As you search the station you can blast all enemies and barrels to collect coins which can be used to upgrade your weapons and regain your health. The station is packed with enemy robots, turrets, radioactive pools, sparks and so much more. It's a deceptively simple game at first that as it opens up becomes more and more tricky. Special weapons and items can also be picked up like shields, a screen destroying bomb and a laser blast that can shoot through walls with items that include a wallet that can double your coin pickups, infrared goggles to see in the dark and many more. It also employs a light RPG mechanic. With every drone killed you gain one experience point and once the bar maxes out you get rewarded with more health. Your ultimate goal here is to regain control of the station and thus stop it from crashing into earth. This is such a well made and simple to play game with spot on controls that are very responsive and work perfectly with the one button gameplay. The graphics are very detailed and colorful with nice animation and a great attention to detail. And like I said earlier the music is super cool with tons of excellent fast paced SID tracks to keep the action going, plus an impressive little intro and outro sequence. The game is both PAL and NTSC compatible, although from what I understand the PAL speed is what it's meant to be played at. It's also both mini and maxi compatible as well as real hardware. And even though it has over 60 plus rooms to explore, it shouldn't take you too long to complete. And that's perfectly fine by me, because the story and environments are such a lot of fun to explore. The game is also available for free or name your own price, with obviously links in the video description to check it out. So why not give the dev a few bucks and enjoy a new wonderfully made metroidvania style game on the old breadbox.